thank you all to my workshop on how to present a product design case study. A little bit about myself. My name is Tim Rosenberg. I'm a senior designer for tech systems and I work on the Facebook app um, at Meta. And so today I'm gonna be giving you specific tips on how to present a case study that got me interviews with teams like Facebook, AT&T and Amazon. Now, one thing to note with a case study, this should not have a lot of text because you're presenting it. You're not handing it over uh, for them to read. And typically like a hiring manager does, doesn't wanna read heavy, dense information. One thing to note is that it, um, you should always have multiple case studies in the back of your hand. Sometimes you might go into an interview thinking that an employer is looking for one type of project. So for example, you might think like, okay, they really wanna see consumer facing apps. So you have a whole, um, you have a whole case study that is focused on consumer facing apps. But then halfway in the interview, you're like, oh, wait a second. They actually wanna see someone who can do healthcare and has experience with like HIPAA compliance. If you happen to have a healthcare related app, you wanna have that in your back pocket so that you can switch over and help them check the boxes. All right, awesome. So uh, when I presented this uh, for the team on the Facebook app, I customized some key taglines um, for Facebook specifically. So one of Facebook's values is measuring impact. So even on the tagline, I wanna convey that like my skill set is in alignment with their uh, corporate values. The first step when I dive in is just a quick high level summary of what is the product? What does it do? How does the app work? You want to begin with a story. You want to tell a narrative of like, you know, why does this matter? Um, however, you don't want to go in too much detail. So first you want to begin with like, what was the objective? What's the challenge? What is the goal? So in this example, it's to increase customer signup, increase um, NPS rating. Um, who is the persona? Who are you marketing for? Now, what's really important is that you shouldn't use like, um, you should be using like real valuable user persona information. Um, so things like psychographics, what are the psychology of how this consumer thinks? Next, I talk in my role in ownership of what my responsibility is. You, you definitely want to convey that you can work with other um, types of people, different types of departments, and you know how your role fit with everything else. And you also want to be clear about like what you specifically delivered and how you collaborated with other people who had different deliverables. It's important to talk about your scope and constraints. One of the most common problems with entry-level case studies is that a lot of them are hypothetical and they have no constraints. So they might come up with these really great projects, but there's no like consideration of what is the, um, what's the engineering effort? What are the business constraints? Uh, what's the timeline constraint? So if you can demonstrate that you can work in some constraints, that makes a huge impact and helps, um, helps you stand out from uh, most like um, entry level um, or maybe inexperienced designers because you can demonstrate that you can work with constraints. Um, so first I go in user research and what's really important is that you show like screenshots of your artifacts. So here are actually recorded sessions. And when I present my case study, I play a quick five second video and I pull out quotes from my user research sessions. So next I go in the next phase of design, which is more of the UX deliverable. So I talk about like user flows, sitemap. You wanna show that you can kind of deliver from end to end um, so that you demonstrate that you have um, different levels of fidelity and skill set. So then I go into the high fidelity um, design. So using Figma to do um, a quick scroll through, keeping it very high level. What was interesting uh, with my interview with Facebook is that uh, the team that I was interviewing for, they were interested in my design system skills. You wanna make sure that you have a very wide range of skill sets that you can demonstrate because the hiring manager has a mental checkbox. So I include some micro animations to demonstrate that like, I can be very high level and think about like business, persona, like sitemaps, like that's very high level. But then I could also switch over to be very micro, very detailed and do these micro animations as well. Um, so then I kind of close um, with some high fidelity designs of, um, of the finished product. Um, and then I continue the story. So this is actually a quote from the client. Um, they said, hey, our 
you know, the designs are great, but our developer is struggling to get everything done. So rather than just being a designer, I became a product manager. And um, even after I launch, I'm going to determine success by doing, um, you know, heat map testing, click map testing. So I want to demonstrate that I could do more than just design, but even product design and product management to really um, show that I can take initiative and ownership. And then um, these are, you want to show metrics. So these, this is like an actual screenshot from, um, from the client. And uh, these are like some sample metrics. Um, in all projects, that is the number one most important thing uh, to showcase in your case study is you want to say that, hey, this design doesn't just look good, it increased metrics. So then at the very end, I close with a screenshot of kind of all the projects that I've done so far. And then I say, hey, do you have any questions? Let's do a deep dive. Do you want to go back to any steps? Um, and by seeing um, a showcase of all the projects, they can kind of get a glance of everything that I've done so far. Thank you all so much for your time. Um, I can't wait to see you next time and um, hope to see you again. All right, take care.